Hello everyone, Brent Jaswinski here from Alpine Stars, and today we'll be talking about the all new Alpine Stars SM5, the latest professional grade helmet to join the current line of Supertech M8 and M10 helmets of the Alpine Stars family of off road helmets. The SM5 is the result of more than five years of intensive study, development, and testing. As always with Alpine Stars products, protection is paramount and our main focus when the product development team starts the design process. The SM5 follows most of the same design principles as the SM8 and SM10 helmets, however, it features a different shell construction. Using a high pro, high impact thermo shell made from a thermo injected polymer blend, which has been modified and enhanced by varying degrees of thickness, the SM5 has been engineered to provide an optimum combination between impact protection and light weight. Certain areas of the helmet's outer shell are thinner in construction, while other areas are thicker. For example, the chin bar and mouthpiece area of the outer shell is 2 millimeters thick, while the top and back are thicker at 2.8 millimeters. The sides of the helmet, which also happen to be the most impact prone areas, are 3.5 millimeters thick. So, as a general rule, Thickness increases in the key impact areas while providing excellent geometry and maintaining optimum structural integrity overall. Moving inside the SM5 helmet, the inner liner features a seven piece expanded polystyrene, or EPS for short, construction, including five different densities of EPS. This allows us to have the most appropriate density in relation to the section of the shell, which tends to be more or less impact prone in a crash. Just like with the outer shell thickness, the sides of the helmet's internal EPS liner are denser than on top, and likewise compared to the chin and cheek sections. This compound is a good material for overall impact energy management in helmets. Inside the SM5's outer shell is an anti-penetration inner shield, which fits between the EPS main shell and the high pro, high impact thermo outer shell. It works like the main outer shell and it helps to spread impact energy across a wider area. The main function of the anti-penetration inner shield, as its name would suggest, is to increase resistance and to reduce the possibility of puncture damage. Thanks to its pre-preg nylon, fiberglass construction that complies with DOT safety standards regulations that mandate an anti-puncture resistance test. To pass the DOT mandated puncture test, some helmets manufacturers make the outer helmet shell thicker by layering on more material, which results in a heavier helmet. On the other hand, the Alpine Stars design results in a lighter helmet. When it comes to other types of helmet testing, we know that the best helmets are those that provide protection against both linear impact and rotational force. The linear impact test is one of the most important tests, and this is where a helmet sustains an impact at a 90 degree angle between the helmet and an object. Currently, the ECE 2205 standard requires that any helmet tested must not transmit more than 275 Gs of accelerational force. Under continuous testing, the SM5 achieved an average of only 185.3 Gs, resulting in a score 33% below the maximum force standard. Another important testing procedure, although not mandated under the ECE 2205 standard, is the oblique impact test. This is where impact energy comes from an angle other than a linear 90 degree angle, or at a right angle straight impact thereby knocking or twisting the head to the side. In such situations, it's important to manage the impact energy to the head from such an oblique angle by slowing or limiting the rotational forces of impact. To help fight and mitigate those rotational impact forces, Alpine Stars has designed the inner surface of the EPS liner to be incredibly smooth, allowing the comfort liner to move against the EPS. What we did here for the SM5 helmet is polish the inner surface of the EPS liner to be incredibly smooth. And then we coated that smooth surface to reduce friction even further, allowing the comfort liner to move against the EPS. The result is increased rotational force management, allowing the rider's head to move independently inside of the helmet or vice versa. The comfort liner is also easily removable 
and it's held in place with elastic connectors at the front and rear. These elastic connectors, combined with the EPS liner, allow the helmet, or rider's head, to move 10 to 15 millimeters while keeping the comfort liner in place, which can significantly reduce the amount of force transmitted to the head, neck, brain, and spine from an oblique impact, while simultaneously reducing the possibility of a concussion. Currently, there is no helmet standard in the world that formally measures or governs the effect of the oblique impact. But last year, the FIM introduced their own standard requiring any rider in MotoGP and or in World Superbike to wear a helmet that meets their criteria for these oblique impacts. And they have set two thresholds. The first threshold is applicable from now until 2021. And the second threshold is for 2021 and beyond. With the all new SM5 helmet, we are already 56% below the current threshold and 42% below the second threshold for 2021 and onward. Now, obviously the SM5 will never be used by a rider on a MotoGP circuit. However, the SM5's design and test results go to show Alpine Star's dedication and commitment to designing the highest level of protection in a product that has been designed for all riders, even at a more entry level price point for an off road helmet like the SM5. Nothing else in the category even compares. Alpine Star's patented visor release system, the same technology used in the SM8 and SM10 helmets, is designed to break off during an impact in order to not hinder the helmet's ability to slide without resistance during an accident, and thereby further limiting rotational energy. Rather than using plastic shearing screws, magnets, or any other type of connection mechanism, the Alpine Star system is designed to allow the visor to detach instantaneously in a crash when a determined amount of impact force is applied from any direction. Then, rather than needing new screws, the visor can easily snap back into place. And unlike magnets found in other helmets, Alpine Star's release mechanism will not pop off too easily either. Allowing the visor to break away prevents the visor from catching itself on anything and in return reduces the amount of rotational acceleration to the neck. Now, with all this technology designed into the SM5, you'd think weight might be a factor. However, the all new DOT rated SM5 tips the scales at 1,440 grams for a size medium, which is 3.17 pounds. In comparison, our full carbon fiber, top of the line SM10 DOT helmet weighs only 1,370 grams for a size medium, or 3.02 pounds, just 2.4 ounces less, a nearly negligible difference. You'll need to check it out and try it on for yourself to see just how light the new SM5 helmet truly is. When it comes to sizing, the SM5 will come in six sizes, extra small through double XL, with two different shell sizes and three different sized EPS inner liners. What this means is that each helmet size will essentially have its own combination of outer shell and inner EPS liner to provide a tailored fit and to ensure that each rider has the perfect blend of fit, performance, and lightest weight possible. And as opposed to using more or less cheek or comfort liner padding to make up the difference in helmet size, which is the design found in some other helmets. Another feature that SM5 shares with its SM8 and SM10 siblings is the bottom side of the chin bar, which is raised to clear the collarbone as much as possible to reduce impact force transmitted to the rider's clavicle, as well as to integrate well with the bionic neck support BNS system. When it comes to ventilation, we've again followed a similar design philosophy as that of the SM8 and SM10 helmets. There are five intakes on the front, with the majority of the air being channeled straight into the helmet to provide direct cooling. In addition, there is also a secondary airflow directed over the rear and sides of the helmet through channels in the EPS liner to create a venturi effect to pull and extract the warm air through the helmet via the exhaust vents for optimum cooling performance and breathability. 
Other important features include the same ERS emergency release system of the cheek pads as found on the SM8 and SM10 helmets to facilitate easier removal of the helmet in an emergency by trained medical personnel, thereby reducing the risk of additional injury during the removal of the helmet. The cheek pads themselves also have elastic tabs to secure a hydration system hose. The tube can be easily fed through the tabs on either side to connect to the water bladder, allowing riders quick and convenient drinking capability for long days in the saddle or especially on those hotter summer rides. Another less obvious feature is the SM5's wider chin strap. Measuring 26 millimeters in diameter, it's wider than what safety certifications require, which makes the strap safer and more comfortable too. For 58 years, Alpine Stars has been the world leader in high performance protective motorsports apparel and equipment, blending protection, performance, and true style. The SM5 helmet is Alpine Stars' latest technical innovation that gives riders a professional grade helmet at an affordable price. Alpine Stars protects.